About the only player on either team who had any kind of good day was Colts second year quarterback Burt Jones whose darts pierced the winds for 170 yards. But the Buffalo defense made Jones pay for his day in the sun in the cold when they put him down eight times for 70 yards and losses. For the Bills offense only O.J. Simpson had anything to cheer about as he reached the 1000 yard mark. But that too was hardly a great offensive performance for it took him 24 carries to get the 63 yards he needed and left him exactly 999 yards short of last season's total. The rest of the Buffalo offense sputtered as they, like the Colts, were unable to reach the end zone. The Bills had only one good shot, but that was dropped by tight end Paul Seymour. Seymour, a tackle in college, has suspect hands to begin with. And while his gloves may have kept his hands warm, they didn't enhance their performance as the biting cold destroyed both teams' offenses and two John Leipold field goals were the only points put on the board. The Colts managed one good shot at a touchdown too and Jones began to find Freddie Scott a rookie from Amherst. Another fine catch by Scott had the Colts moving in the fourth quarter and Baltimore had four cracks from the Buffalo eight yard line to overcome the Bills six point lead. But four cracks weren't enough as an inspired goal line stand boosted Buffalo to its ninth win of the year and warmed their fans whose team kept its share of first place in the AFC East. 